Hello, my beautiful Geminis. Welcome to your forecast horoscope for 2023. This is going to be an overview of what's going to happen, what you, what you can expect. Uh, we're going to go into different themes, different questions. So it's going to be a very extensive reading. Guys, feel free to take notes, okay? Uh, come back, check this out. And let me know how it plays in your situation. Obviously, uh, for the year of 2023, it's going to be pretty extensive. I want to also thank you, Geminis. I'm very grateful for you going into the new year. I just want to tell you how much I really do truly appreciate you. Um, also, I want to thank you for so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you'd like a personal read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, my darling. So we're going to be looking at multiple questions. So there's going to be nine different questions here. So hopefully I'll be able to all fit it all in here. Um, so, and uh, also, if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. And if there's too much shuffling, feel free to fast forward through this because it's going to be a lot of cards. Okay, so what is going to happen with my Gemini's 2023? You know the questions I have down for them. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so we're gonna be looking at different aspects. Each one of these is a question, okay? As I said, feel free to take notes to write down these questions. Okay. Let me make sure I get that on camera there. Okay. And I'm also going to be covering the themes of the overall for your love life, for career and finance as well. Um, the important months that are coming up. But definitely, there definitely seems to be a common theme so far with some of the signs. Um, we'll talk about that in a minute. But first, let me get all these cards down. All right, Gemini's 2023 reads. You know the question spirit. Show me cards I need to see for 2023. Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. I'm going to go as quickly as possible so I can get all these cards down. But as I said, feel free to fast forward if you feel like I'm taking too long with the uh, card laying down here, shuffling. Okay. Okay, so, and then these are gonna be, we're gonna jump into it after this, okay. Gemini's 2023 reads, you know the nine questions for it, so I wanna know. So, show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. That's interesting. That is interesting. Yep. Let me go backwards here. That one goes here. Okay, so overall theme, Gemini, we got the eye, we got the gift, and we got the death card. But for me, it shows me that just like the Scorpio energy, there's going to be a situation that's going to arise where there's going to be big changes, transformational changes coming in. And if I get the theme of what this is saying, you guys are going to be receiving something here, receiving some type of gift. And isn't it interesting that psychic ability and trusting your intuition is really an important theme for the year ahead here. So you're receiving some kind of information, appreciation, okay? Uh, there is this ending for a new beginning or the theme of the year is saying there's transitional changes. Um, and there is a lot of new beginnings coming in, okay? I'm gonna go further on this. I wanna get more clarity around this situation. All right, Gemini's 2023 
2023 reads for the nine questions spirit. Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Just to get more clarity. Yeah. Definitely spiritual messages, spiritual signs coming in. That's going to be the theme of the week. Interesting. So your theme, excuse me, the theme of the year. The upcoming year, it seems like you're, it's a very spiritual kind of year for you guys. You're going to get a lot of messages. Uh, you may even get a bump up in your psychic ability. Spirit is saying trust in your intuition. Get ready for this change. Okay. And to receive this. Uh, we see 2 plus 7 is 8 and 9. Something to do with desires, fulfillment here. And definitely something is faded around your um your year of 2023. Let's see uh, significant months for you guys. Can I have some significant months, three significant months for Geminis and what they need to be aware of? Which months here for 2023? Okay, we got May. So one of the months is going to be May, April, and November. So note those down. And let's see the signs. All right, significant people, three significant people in 2003 that'll play a factor for Gemini. Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. Okay. All right, so this one is Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. Okay. Uh, could be an older individual or someone who has a lot of wisdom. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, again, potentially both could be masculine, it doesn't have to be, or they could have a very leader kind of role or like they, they have a lot of, uh, they have a lot of experience, okay? So they know what they're doing. Kings always know what they're doing. They have all this, the other, um, uh, you know, they have the cups, they have, excuse me, they can see pentacles. God, what is wrong with me today, Gemini? <laughs> they have the you know, the potential to, for good news and messages, the pages. We have the knights, we have the queens. So the kings encompass all that energy here. And then we have the jack, okay? This is the jack of swords, okay? Obviously the spades in this deck, but this is actually the swords. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Now this could be about this person, this important person could be because of an action or communication, okay? So let's now move into what do you need to let go of from the past? Okay, let's talk about it. We have this cracked cup. We have this individual here. And we see this investment of time. So something that you've been waiting on, something you're investing your time in. Uh, it could be a person that is trying to be there for you. Or maybe you've been there for somebody too much. Okay. And it's saying that this situation... There's some kind of dissatisfaction in your life that has caused something to break apart. So this dissatisfaction on this situation that you've been waiting on is something that has to be left in the past, okay? You already know about this very deeply, what I'm talking about, okay? Seven talks about a lot of thinking, contemplating, analyzing, okay? Four plus three again is seven energy, talking about a lot of thinking, contemplating about this particular thing. It's time to release that and let that go. So what should you bring with you this year? Okay, so we have two pentacles. We have these thoughts about someone leaving your life. Okay, something to do with this empty chair. So I get the sense that this chair is going to be filled. So this space, this situation is going to be filled. And they want you to know that stay positive in your thoughts, that you're going to have some choices coming in. You got some choices too. Um, I also get the sense of um, you're really good at juggling or multitasking uh, in your thoughts and your planning. I get that sense also that uh, a choice needs to be made here. So it seems like there's some kind of issue with a particular person. So it's what needs to happen is this choice needs to be made now in your thoughts. And it seems like it needs, the situation needs to be let go so you can move forward in your thoughts so you can have this decision. And then going further, to know that you're blessed. No blessings are coming in. So blessings, 
Blessings are coming in, making a choice, okay? Making that heavy decision here to let that situation go and move forward. And if we go further on this, what is the theme so far? It's a very spiritual theme if you think about it. The fates, deeper knowing that you are blessed, okay? So 2023 so far is talking about you're fated to have some great things come into your life. You're about to receive a lot of blessings and you need to know this within yourself deeply. So what are the blessings that are coming in? So again, it's saying you're having some choices. You're going to be at a place where you're going to be able to make some good choices. And we see here, bull. Do not back down from opposition, so show your strength and fortitude. So you're going to have the strength here to not back down. Again, that's with the seven of wands energy, to not back down in what you want, especially around something to do with work or career for some of you guys, or something around money and finance. You guys are going to have that willpower, that drive to just fight for your position here. You're really going to be blessed in that area. Okay, let's keep going. But before we go further, let's take a look at some astrology for you guys. What astrology is going to be influencing Gemini in 2023? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So we got the sun card energy, which is to do with the fifth house, creativity. It also has to do with uh, the house of children. Uh, this also has to do with uh, respect, confidence. You guys are really gonna shine very brightly here, okay, with the sun card energy. You may even feel very creative. I do feel like things are gonna come to light for you. You're really gonna have a lot of attention put on you. Because remember, fame has to do with the moon and the sun. So it seems like you're getting respect, you're getting respect, yeah. You're getting respect, getting recognition, okay? South node has to do with the past. So it looks like some stuff is gonna come up pertaining to the past, okay? So be aware of that with the key to energy. Um, also Aries, Aries has to do with the first house. It has to do with your physical you. It has to do with you taking a leadership role, which also makes sense to me with the sun card energy being there. You're going to get recognition for this leadership role, for these pioneering things, for doing something original or new here with the Aries energy. You may even have a lot of drive and passion also because Aries is ruled by Mars. Okay, let's move this out of the way, Gemini. And let's take a look at some of the obstacles. Okay, so the obstacles is dealing with this change and not being really happy about this change. Particularly, it could be around schedule, scheduling, okay? Staying on schedule, staying, um, you know, structured, organized, okay? With the emperor card energy, could be around a boss, could be around a father for some of you guys, okay? So let's go further on this. It's definitely to do with recognition or having that victory, and it's something pertaining to work for some of you guys. There's some kind of attention that you're being brought, is being brought to you, okay? Um, Emperor shows me that it's um, just needing to let go of this control and just uh, allow the change to happen here. So some of you guys are, are intimidated a little bit by this attention. Um, so Spirit is saying, accept this. This is, this is your time to shine here, okay? So we see, so far, what do we got going on for 2023, the theme here? There's a faded situation. You're definitely getting a lot of, you're gonna be getting a lot of spiritual signs. You're going to have a lot of deep knowing aspects of things. So your intuition is definitely gonna be on point. There are blessings coming in for you guys, which is gonna allow you to have some kind of choices. It looks like some victory or some recognition here. So what is, what is the, the goal for this year? Well, the goal for this year is to know that it's your time. To know that it's your time, Gemini. And not to be in despair about this, right? In the sense of uh, you wanting to spend some time alone. It feels like this year, it's like you're going to get a lot of attention. A lot of people, a lot of eyes are going to be on you. But you guys are going to be in that mode of, I want to be by myself. I want to be more spiritual. But 
a lot of people are going to have make you kind of like hey i want to be in, i want you to be in the spotlight gemini okay so even though there's going to be a competing factor here okay spiritually you guys are in that place of pisces like i want to detach from the situation i want to spend more time alone and you know i'm feeling more intuitive but you're going to be shifted into the spotlight there too much concern and we see a lot to do with passion as well passionate matters like we see the rabbit here so actions so a lot of uh, there's going to be a lot of actions a lot of movement coming in here for you guys with your goal but the goal is not to um, be in despair about this alone time but just go for it and just follow through in this change and know that it's your time okay so how do you achieve this goal okay not allowing yourself to get trapped in your thoughts okay know that there's going to be a sigh of relief and celebrate this enjoyment okay and going further here we see that it's it's a decision a sense of fairness a sense of balance here bringing balance to yourself okay staying grounded um know that this is this is a uh, you know all about balance right so you're getting attention but it's like uh it's like it's it's pulling you back and you know it's pulling you between uh two situations i feel like i get the sense of but saying stay balanced know that this is a fair decision or make fair decisions okay celebrate this enjoyment know that there's a sigh of relief and don't let yourself get trapped in your thoughts okay so going further here what's going to happen with your romantic love life gemini okay we see a relationship so there is going to be this relationship where you guys are already dealing with relationship there's a relationship and a sense of loyalty but there will be a temptation that's going to come in okay it's going to tempt you we see the apple there and we go further uh it's going to be passionate in nature and the timing is going to be right something important may happen through a job okay or money around this situation okay and then going further there's a healing of a relationship but a temptation that's going to come forward i do get the sense that you'll be able to go the distance and heal a situation and to win over a situation or someone's trying to do that with you there's a little bit of a caution or defensive energy here we see there's a friend here coming in uh, which is concerned about an unsuccessful outcome or may cause a problem in your romantic love life okay i get the sense of this is the person that's a temptation mm -hmm. they're trying to be there for you they're trying to be the support system but i get the sense that around career and finance somehow or money to do with this person it seems like um there's going to be a lot of chemistry here um, and there's going to be a temptation to move into a passionate situation with this person so just be aware of that but we do see there's a relationship and love and devotion and you being able to heal the situation go the distance but it does look like there's going to be some kind of passionate temptation coming in there okay an abrupt decision around that so far let's bring it all together um, the fates are aligning for you guys and you're going to know this deeply that you're blessed you're going to have some choices coming in you're getting this victory there's this this sense of loss uh, that's going to be healed because you're going to be able to go the distance. There's a support system here to make a fair decision. So let's look at your career in finance. It looks like you guys are thinking about walking away or you're avoiding something here. You're getting a lot of attention here and there's a lot of big changes here. There's a, a lot of big, big, huge changes coming in. I get the sense that you guys are. Uh, are asking like why is this happening now okay you're trying to stay strong you're trying to gain confidence here there's definitely uh there's a person that's trying to um get the sense that with this particular person that um there's a person that's trying to lure you into another opportunity here it does look like you're going to have a little bit of a frustration coming in about a situation that you felt like it was going to be straightforward but then it's going to be a little bit of resistance around it because it's like working with someone or dealing with someone or having to do something creative around this situation and as i said here's the sun card coming out your crown there 
Honor and respect will come to you. Mm -hmm. We see that there is some kind of friendship, okay? Some kind of networking here and concerns about a loss because of the fact that you're the one that's being crowned, being recognized. So just be aware of that. There, I get the sense that this may be the same person or somebody you're working with, but you're gonna get a lot of recognition. There may be an issue around a particular friend, a work friend, or uh, some other person involved with the situation here. Because here it's like, it's time for you. It's time for you. So let's talk about the theme about what's going on. Okay, so it looks like you have a relationship here for love, okay? There will be a situation where there's a temptation that's gonna come up around work or career um, where um, there could be something that could lead to something passionate there, okay? So you have to be careful about that. If uh, Just be aware of that. Um, when it comes to um, your intuition, you're definitely going to be more intuitive in the 2023. However, this is gonna put you in a situation where you're gonna be a little bit more detached, right? You're wanna spend more time alone. Uh, you're seeing a lot of spiritual signs, but on the same token, because of career and finance, it seems like you're gonna be put in front and center. You're gonna be gained, uh, gain a lot more respect, getting more recognition. Uh, so it's kind of like for you, uh, like a little bit of a balancing act here to keep yourself balanced because you're kind of like wanting to spend time alone, but on the same token, you're being put in the limelight there, right? A lot of people want your attention. Uh, you're getting a lot more respect. And it seems like, uh, because of the fact that you're just questioning about this why of this situation. So you're trying to find a creative solution. Why is it now? Why is it this time? If I go down further here, some big changes are coming in, but you're gonna be a little bit frustrated here. You will get this honor and respect, recognition and a victory. Also, a lot of attention is gonna be put on you, but then also this is gonna cause a problem with a, one particular person, which could cause a little bit of a loss around that, okay? Because it's, it's a little bit of a jealousy going on. Um, walking away or avoiding a situation because of lack of courage and confidence with a friend. So it's a work friend or somebody you're networking with or in your network circle there with the Three of Cups energy. Okay, let's go a little further. There's gonna be thinking and contemplating going on and uh, concerns about things going round and round. And it looks like there is going to be a lot of giving to this energy to clear the air. We see a partnership or choice you're going to make to try to mend the situation with this person. Okay. All right, my beautiful Geminis. I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days and I will see you guys soon.